welcome, 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 welcome. Back to my channel. If you are here for the very first time, thank you for clicking on this video. I'm Nas and my content is predominantly Christian based. So if you're looking to grow in God, this is the place to be. Make Now for today's video, um, it's actually inspired by another Christian YouTuber that I love and I'll link her video down below if you're interested in watching that after this. But I saw hers and I decided that I should do my own take on it. So here goes. Basically, I want to just share with you guys really quickly, I don't think it'll be a long video, just sharing with you guys a couple shows and movies on Netflix and otherwise that I don't recommend Christians watching and that I personally would never watch again and also ones that I would never watch. Um, so if you're interested, give this video a thumbs up. And before I even get started, I want you guys to do me a favor down in the comments. I want you to comment one show or movie that you would never re-watch as a Christian and comment one show or movie that you recommend. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. So the premise of this show, um, at least the first season, it begins, it's set in like 1983 when researchers at Hawkins National Laboratory open a rift to the upside down and alternate dimension and a monster from the upside down escapes and abducts a boy named Will Byers and teenage girl named Barb. Genre of the show, it's horror, it's a drama, it's mystery, it's science fiction and it's supernatural. So initially, like when I was watching this show, I think I think it was last year or the year before. I think it was the year before that I um I found out about this show and gave it a shot. And let me be honest, I did love it. I loved the first two seasons. Um I binged it, I think I watched it twice actually. Um and since then season three has been released. I think season four is on its way. But interestingly, I don't know, I went from obsessed to like um like just completely uninterested as i'm you know uh trying to more and more protect what i ingest i wouldn't go back to this series it's kind of it's not scary but it does have uh it does have some i don't want to say gruesome but some you know scenes that were like like yikes you know some images you know it presents this whole idea of a monster a demogorgon and some of the images that it just who i wish i did not have to see um and to be honest with you like the whole premise of the show i think is interesting like if you watch it from like a christian lens you can kind of extract um a whole heaven and hell perspective because it presents the idea of this upside down this alternate dimension so they're like two worlds right and in the same way how there are two kingdoms kingdom of god and the kingdom of the devil um and the upside down is like this dimension that nobody wants to go to it's, it's somewhere that it's it's a place that instills fear and if you watch the series when the the boy will was abducted and even the even when he was like possessed with the I guess you can call it kind of like a spirit and that whole uh, it just don't I don't I, I don't like if you haven't already like seen it I don't I wouldn't recommend you as a Christian to go and watch it I don't think um that in the moment I was enjoying it but like thinking about it now I don't think it presented anything uh wholesome that I that is worthy of ingesting as a as a Christian so you probably know this one, it's pretty popular, but the premise is Archie, Betty, Jughead, and Veronica tackle being teenagers in a town that is rife with sinister happenings and bloodthirsty criminals. Okay, so just side note, I did not read the description of the show before I watched it, but now that I'm reading it, it's kind of yikes. I don't think I would have if I had read the description first just saying um but the genres it's a teen drama and mystery it's um like it's was it was originally uh, like a comic book and it was like turned into a series very popular um but kind of yikes so again to be honest i originally thought it was great i thought the writing was great i thought that um like just a build-up of mystery that the show that the suspense i love shows that like met me like keep me in suspense and i think it did that well 
so I watched the first two seasons, but um, it I think it has about five seasons now. As much or four, I don't know. But I watched the first two, and I don't know. I had no interest of continuing. I, I especially after I heard that for season three they were going to take it up a notch in terms of like the supernatural aspect and just from hearing from friends that have watched it beyond season two it just it just got really dark or i guess darker than seasons one and two and i just personally don't feel comfortable watching it anymore and that's just me so the genre of this film is action slash fantasy and basically the premise it's it's a group of mercenaries all centuries old immortals with the ability to heal themselves discover someone is onto their secret and they must fight to protect their freedom <sighs> so i started to watch this with my family one night and we had to just stop the movie halfway because it was very disturbing to our christian beliefs the writer first and foremost presents very strongly the idea of god not existing and on top of that it just it it just presents i feel like the storyline it's almost as if the characters it, it's in a sense they kind of have like characteristics of god like the whole idea of immortality the, whole, the ability to heal themselves um the ability to discover if someone is onto their secrets that like the ability to see into the future it's almost like they're omniscient in a sense and it, 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 it was very disturbing. It presents lots of things that are disturbing to um, the Christian belief. Um, so I definitely would not recommend you watching this. So it, this one's also fairly popular and uh, the premise just from my head, it's basically like this uh, lesbian couple, um, their first appearance and it pretty much just chronicles uh, their life and it's just a whole merry-go-round the show will keep the show will have you on an emotional roller coaster honestly like it's a bunch of plot twists a bunch of it just goes from zero to a hundred real quick but honestly at the time when i was watching it probably about two or so years ago um i'm actually surprised that i i didn't finish it i stopped at like season probably the end of season three or mid season three um but it 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 it, be, it it became a bit too overbearing like it i mean the whole idea of the lesbian couple first of all being the forefront of the thing and then it just continued to kind of push that in my face in terms of the whole idea of homosexuality the whole idea it was just they they pres like certain themes in the series um i disagree with and it's it's I just I couldn't I couldn't continue watching it so I don't know if I don't know if what your opinion is of that if you've seen it but um, personally I would never re-watch that I don't you like I don't even want to call the name because this series from my city name alone I just automatically will be turned off I do why would any Christian feel comfortable watching a show with this name it just doesn't make any sense to me highly discourage you from watching this show i heard that it presents like the idea of the devil as like a good person you know this attractive guy and he's it guys the name alone turn off so i've heard persons like hype up this show and i've never really looked into it before but as i have as i like during my research first and foremost genres horror fiction Occult fiction, huge red flag right there. So, um, the the premise is that this adaptation of the Sabrina the of Sabrina the Teenage Witch tale is a dark coming of age story that traffics in horror and the occult. Sabrina traffics in horror. Sorry, Sabrina wrestles to reconcile her dual nature, half witch, half mortal, while standing against the evil forces that threaten her. Like there's nothing that needs to be said about this apart from apart from the fact that once you even see that a genre of an, any show or movie says horror fiction and occult fiction, run, <laughs> run away from that. Don't even press. Don't even watch the trailer. Just just run. Just no. And first and foremost, it also apparently did like a crossover with Riverdale. The fact that they saw this show as fitting to do a crossover with Riverdale. Red flag, this again, for me, like, not watching or not continuing Riverdale. So, as I said, 
anything supernatural i have strayed from it so i i'm never returning to watch anything teen wolf vampire diaries um the originals i would never rewatch those it's like it's so dark and at the time when i was like obsessed with these shows and staying up late at night to watch them not knowing that i was feeding myself little by little with these like dark images and the whole idea of like a blood sucking creature you know vampires um wolves and um teen wolf in particular had some very gruesome um images that i wish hope like thankfully it's kind of a blur now but at the time when i was like watching it and binging it um it, it honestly kind of disturbed me if you have to watch a show and like turn away your eyes it means you shouldn't it means you should not be watching it and there were many scenes where i had to turn away because it was just too graphic for me honestly vampire diaries wasn't as graphic but the whole idea of like witch and the the, the chanting of spells that the bunny the witch did like in the moment when i was watching it i was just so obsessed and in love with the you know the romance part of it and the i was just enjoying the other aspects of it not realizing that it's it's so wrong and so dark um and it's, it's it goes way beyond just entertainment it's it has very dark roots that i would never return to watching i think i gave into the temptation probably a year ago to re-watch a couple episodes of vampire diaries and i could not fathom, i couldn't stomach it. It, it it disturbed my spirit so i wouldn't return to any of that i hear that ian somehow who was who played daemon in vampire diaries he now is in a new vampire show on netflix called viewers i'm not even going to watch the trailer for that um and what other super anything supernatural i'm just i mean the supernatural is real but none of these shows present it properly so i i highly discourage anybody from watching it and as for like the whole idea of horror movies and christians watching horror movies i personally don't see the entertainment in watching something that's going to instill fear in me a couple of years ago when i watched insidious from this so i make up my mind i vowed to myself that i would not return to watch anything horror or anything like that not going back to that life no thank you i enjoy sleeping in peace so no thanks so that's me um i'm not telling you what to watch and what not to watch but these are my opinions and i personally don't think that i think it's very important that um as christians we protect what we allow to um come like what we ingest um so uh take that into consideration when you you know go about watching stuff i'm no, i know many christians are now either canceling their netflix account or contemplating canceling their netflix account i'm honestly getting more and more turned off not to mention the fact, that, the fact that it keeps taking off i don't know if it's just the jamaica netflix but a lot of my like favorite stuff like came off of it and i'm very upset about that so that on top of the fact that it's just getting really really wayward is very discouraging for me personally so if you have any recommendations let me know and let me also know your thoughts of any movies or shows that you think is a, just a huge no-no for Christians. Um, I know some Christians um, are highly against Harry Potter and all those um, dark uh, movies. So let me know what your opinions are. <laughs>